today's video, we'll go through some terms that are good to know when learning and discussing ecosystems. Let's start with pests, and no, they're not just annoying little brothers. A pest is an organism that affects human health, or could attack crops, food, livestock, etc. that we need. A pesticide kills pests. Some types of pesticides include insecticide, which kills insects, herbicide, which kills plants, and fungicide, which kills fungi. A tricky part with pesticides is they may kill more than you want. Say there's a beetle eating your garden, but some pesticides that will kill them might also kill bees, which your garden and flowers need to grow. A biological control can be used to get rid of pests as well. Remember, bio means living. A biological control is using natural enemies to control pests. For example, leafy spurge is a weed in Canada. It grows faster than natural grasses, but cattle will not eat it. So any field that has leafy spurge growing cannot have livestock. The black dot spurge beetle, however, feeds on leafy spurge and has been used successfully in controlling the spread of the weed. The next two terms, introduced species and invasive species, were actually also part of this example. An introduced species is one that is brought to an environment it is not naturally found in, whether by accident or on purpose. The leafy spurge and black dot spurge beetle were introduced species to Alberta. The leafy spurge accidentally and the beetle on purpose. An invasive species is one that was introduced but has a negative impact on the environment and takes over resources of naturally occurring organisms. The leafy spurge in this example. While looking at categories of species, let's discuss extinct, endangered, and extirpated species. Extinct species are those that don't exist anymore anywhere in the world. A species may become extinct because of loss of their home, their food source, pollution, an invasive species competing with them, and so on. Examples of extinct species are the dodo bird, woolly mammoth, and saber-toothed tiger. Endangered species are those seriously at risk of becoming extinct, but aren't extinct yet. Those currently include the Bengal tiger, black rhinos, and giant pandas. Extirpated species are those that are extinct in a specific geological area. There are still some of the species alive in the world, but not in an area where they used to be. An example of an extirpated species is the gray wolf. The gray wolf used to live throughout North America, Asia, and Europe. In 1926, the gray wolf was extirpated from Yellowstone National Park. It has since then been reintroduced in Yellowstone, but is still extirpated from many of its old habitats. Now you know more about pests, pesticide, biological controls, introduced species, invasive species, as well as species that are extinct, endangered, and extirpated. I hope knowing these terms help in your learning about ecosystems. Mm -hmm.